At this place in history, we're in downtown Middlebury with Steve Perkins, the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. And Steve, we're around the corner from the Henry Sheldon Museum, which is where we were last week. So what brings us here now? So, Mike, we're going to talk about the Stuart Swift Research Center, which is part of the Sheldon Museum, um, but really a wonderful place for Vermonters to learn more about their state. It's got a very rich collection, and this year it's celebrating its 50th anniversary. Right. So we're going to go inside and we're going to chat with the associate director of the Sheldon Museum, Mary Manley. Mary, one thing that has stood out to us about uh, your archives, their namesake, Jessica Stewart Swift, was still alive when they were launched. Right, so in 1972, our research center building was built. Jessica Swift was an amazing philanthropist here in Middlebury in general, and certainly supporting the Sheldon Museum. She lived to be 110. The Grand Dame of Middlebury from the 1930s Absolutely. until until the early 80s. What sort of things would you find in the archives here? Gosh. Um, having, having experienced the diversity in Henry's three-dimensional collection yeah. uh, and paintings, etc., I think you won't be surprised to know he collected a little of everything. Yeah. Uh, we have amazing historic photographs, maps, letters, diaries, journals, uh, all of which uh, mostly reflect his time. Uh, we have Civil War letters. Uh, he also created these what was very popular at the time, anyway, these big scrapbooks, yeah. where he would also write away for autographs, but also he kept so many, so many pieces of ephemera that relate to Middlebury and Addison County. One of the pieces in the archives that I think has gotten a lot of press lately was, was recently sent to Washington. We have an amazing uh, silhouette of two women, um, Charity and Sylvia, who lived in Weybridge, um, and they were really the, the most well-documented or first-documented same-sex couple in, in the United States, we believe, but certainly in this area. It has traveled both to Minneapolis and to D.C., to the National Portrait Gallery for a show there. Now, I'm fascinated by the gallery that we're in right now. Yeah. Because this is not what you would think a traditional use of archives. Uh, Rick cassini Cador is the guest curator of the show, worked in tandem with our archivist, Eva Garcelon Hart, and Taylor Rossini, who's no longer working at the museum but was an intern here, and later staff member. Rick reached out to artists uh, all around the world. He's a collage artist. He reached out to collage artists and invited them to participate. And these are prints. And we could never have done this before. This is one of those COVID silver linings because everybody was Zooming. And so they were able to reach out to these artists all over the world. We have Poland, we have Canada, we have Ireland and Ukraine. Yeah. And so all these artists participated and they would let Eva know anything that interested them. Eva and Taylor would pull examples from our ephemera, send them the images, and then they could select what they wanted to work their collage with. And so you can see that exhibit and buy the book yeah. at the Sheldon Museum. You can. And those have public hours. Yes, uh, to yes, you again yes. The museum are. is open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 4. The archives are open to the public on um, Thursdays and Fridays, 1 to 4, by appointment. One of Vermont's richest repositories of local records at this place in history.